hi it's been a while <laughs> um haven't put anything on the youtube channel since the advent stuff i believe or a little bit right after maybe um hope everybody's doing okay out there phil and i are doing fine um working from home still the usual routine um i'm posting this video i'm gonna start a new series shortly uh, it's not gaming related, so I know my numbers are gonna go down. <laughs> um, and that's okay. Uh, I understand completely if you could care less about these other videos. And you came originally to see us game, and, and we appreciate that. And we still have people watching those, so thank you again uh, have, if you have been watching our game videos. Um, so, as some of you may or may not know, I'm in my 50s. I'm actually having a birthday here in a couple of weeks. And I've been having some medical struggles the last couple of years, and I think I mentioned maybe in the Advent videos, I don't remember, I was having some problems walking. Uh, but anyway, I do have um, some really super bad arthritis in uh, my right knee, and also a little bit in my left. I also have a little neuropathy in my left, so why am I telling you all this? Um, I am going to be getting a total knee replacement on May 8th of 2023. Um, today is April 5th, I think, I'd have to double check my calendar, um, but I thought I'd start a video series now uh, to kind of talk to you about why I'm getting it done, um, some of the prep work I'm doing ahead of time, and the reason I'm posting all of this is I personally have been searching YouTube for videos about knee replacement, and there's a ton of videos from doctors and, you know, PT people, which are all great videos, no, no doubt. Um, and there's been a few about person, people's journeys on, on this, you know, total knee replacement surgery and, and whatnot. And um, they've been pretty good. I've, I've found the four or five of them that I'd really, you know, I was really glad to hear how theirs is going or how it's not going or whatever. Um, but there's not a ton of them out there. And those people who did post, you know, posted very sporadically. So I thought I would just do it a little more often, uh, tell you the real deal of what I go through. Um, bad or good. So if you're going to watch the series, uh, be prepared for bad as well as good, hopefully. Hopefully we're good. Um, but I thought I'd at least get a video out there about my knee replacement surgery. So I'm getting the right knee totally replaced, which sounds really gross. I've never had a real surgery in my life. I've had mandatory small surgeries like endoscopy and colonoscopy because I'm that age. Um, but those are like, you know, twilight sleep, they're easy peasy. Um, this is a, a real surgery and I've been also told by many people, including my doctor, that this is a surgery that is painful. So once you come out of surgery and you go home, sometimes same day, sometimes not, um, you know, you have a lot of pain in the first couple of weeks, take pain meds, etc, etc. But it's supposedly one of the harder ones to recover from pain-wise. So I'm not looking forward to that. But everybody I know has had one, even the ones on the videos I did watch, were like totally worth it in most cases. It was like, you know, night and day, because I can barely walk properly right now at all um, with, um, with a cane. So, um, you know, I thought I would, you know, it's, it's important that I'm doing this. I think it's going to give me a much better um, life. Uh, I can't travel for work right now. I just can't do anything I really want to do. Phil and my husband and I have not traveled, real travel, We've done car trips, you know, things like that, but a real travel in a long time. I've been on a plane in almost three years. So, you know, I want to do all these things again and, I, and it'll be must, much easier with a, a knee that's working. So that's the introduction to this series. Um, I'm also going to spend time showing you a couple of things I've done now to start the process. Oh, one thing I really can't show you, I'll show you maybe a little clip of it, but um, I'm currently going to Athletico, which is a, uh, a physical, not physical, a, a, yeah, physical therapy <laughs> um, co company. And I'm going there twice a week. I was going three times, but with my job, it was getting hard. So I'm going twice a week there to do pre-exercises, getting ready for the surgery. So you're strengthening your leg as much as possible, even though this, it's painful to do the exercises. Um, maybe I'll even show you some of the exercises on another video that I'm doing right now, you know, getting ready to go, right? getting ready for surgery. I'm actually doing my left leg as well because my left leg has arthritis too, not as bad, but I'm going to need this left leg in order to recover on the right. So it's going to be a fun time the next couple of months. Um, but again, I want to kind of, you know, kind of show you the, the journey I'm going on in case you're going to get your replacement yourself, um, or you're just curious, I don't know, or see how I'm doing. Um, Phil will be in the videos once in a while too, I'm sure, because he'll be help helping me. I'm sure if I'm on medication, he'll be helping me film the videos. 
I know I can't do a, a film of the surgery itself, but I'm sure I can do like some video in the hospital before and after and those kind of things. So we'll see. We'll just take it one day at a time. It's only, you know, the beginning of April. So we have a month before the surgery. Um, these are coming off April 12th, which is next week. We will show you a little video on that because the one thing I found, the good news is my braces are supposed to come off anyway. So that, that's good news. But after you have knee replacement surgery, you have to take antibiotics. This is a fact, you can look it up yourself before you go to any other uh, dental appointments, even if it's just for a cleaning, because they're worried about infection getting into your body. So you have to take antibiotics before and after. So it's just, there's a lot of things you have to worry about when it comes to dental hygiene. So the good news is if these are coming off before the surgery, you know, I won't have to worry about a dentist appointment for quite a while. So that's coming up next week. So if you want to see how wonderful my teeth look after I take off the braces, that's up to you. Um, but that's it. Um, so the next part of this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit about what I've prepared for in the house. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm not sure when the next video will be posted, but you know, assuming I'll post maybe one or two more before the actual surgery and then I'm planning to post daily after that, just to show my exact daily journey on pain and, and everything else, just so it helps again, might help somebody else. All right, I'm rambling. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. And uh, here's the next part of the video, which is the uh, just what I've gotten ready so far. Okay, Turtle wanted to say hi, I think. Turtle, did you want to say hi? Yeah, say hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to go in that room? No, we're not going in that room. We're taking these nice folks on a tour of all my stuff and my knee surgery. <clears throat> so first of all, I am standing right now. There's one of my canes. This one is pretty cool. This one didn't actually come with the base like this. I bought that extra because I have a habit of, of dropping them and then they crash on my hardwood floor and it's not a nice sound and then Phil gets worried that I fell. <laughs> so I have the base on this. This one, however, actually comes on, let's see this. I'll show, I'll show you in the other room. It comes apart. So if you want to like take it on a trip or something, it actually uh, folds up, which is kind of nice. Um, but this is my upstairs cane, so I'll just have all along here. Now, this is my nemesis. This is my staircase. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, this is scaring the living crap out of me because I, my bedroom is upstairs, my showers are upstairs. The only thing is not upstairs I need is my food, um, which is downstairs. So my goal is after surgery is to get home and get up the staircase one time. And then I can stay up here until I'm supposed to be going up and downstairs more often. Um, so I'm a little nervous about this. Um, so we'll see what happens. But you might see at the bottom of the staircase is cane number two and a Miss Hiss. Hi, Miss. Um, because it's a pain in the neck trying to, I think, at least right now, when I go down the stairs, I have to do what they call down with the, down with the bad, up with the good. So when I go down, I have to use my right leg to go down and I hold on to the handrails all the way down. So it's hard for me to hold the cane. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I'd rather just hold the handrails on the wall <laughs> to get down very, very slowly. Um, but then when I get down, I have my other cane down there and there's my clock going off. Um, and so then I'm good to go on the second floor. Um, going into my bedroom with cat toys, so I apologize for those. I'll show you some of the things I got ready in here. Oh yes, I am walking slowly. So number one is a walker and it's got wheels and slides. Uh, and what's nice about this is that the slides are good and they have little, they have like little slippers on them. <laughs> so they can slide on the hardwood floor. Um, this is a walker I already had because last year, which I probably didn't note, in July, I ripped my plantaris tendon in my right leg and I had to use this uh, for that. So I had one already, so that's good news. And that's gonna be up here. And then I believe the hospital will be sending me home with a walker as well and I'll leave that on the downstairs floor. So again, I'll have one on each floor, um, which I know is privileged, but I just think it's good to have one on each floor and I don't have to worry about Phil or me having to go up and down uh, each time. And then I have a little pouch on here, which sounds silly, but it's kind of cool if I wanna put something in the pouch as I'm walking down the hall to my office or something. <laughs> Cause when you're holding on, you're holding with two hands, um, it's kind of hard to hold other things. Although I also have, actually I didn't show you that. I have right now, currently, in my status that I'm at right now, I can't hold things going up and down the stairs, especially kitties. All right, Turtle, say hi. Hello. Um, I have this big 
Kate Spade bag out of my office. Just It's just, you know, fabric. But I actually, you know, when I go down the stairs, if I want to bring up waters or if I want to bring up, you know, my phone or whatever, and um, I don't have a pocket. I just put this big old bag right around my shoulder and then I, I go downstairs with my bag. So it's, it's nice to have a big bag to throw things in when you have to go up and down, even now. Um, and yes, Phil will take things up and down for me, so I don't want to think Phil won't do it, but I like to do things on my own and not worry about bothering him so much. Sorry, my bedroom's a little bit of a mess, but I'm getting ready here. So again, walker. Then we haven't installed this yet, but I've been told this is very, very important, is a raised toilet seat. And the reason why is you can't bend your knees at a, the normal angle you're normally used to bending when you sit on the toilet. So this helps you have a little more height uh, to the toilet, so that way it's easier to sit when you have a situation and it's got the handles, which is nice. Um, so you can get up and down. Currently, in the state that I'm in, this is my bathroom. I actually have handles on the toilet here and the one downstairs. I'm praying by this time next year, all these handles are gone. <laughs> but right now, even just getting up with the pain in my knee is so intense that it's nice to have the handles just to push up. So maybe TMI, but it's a really great thing to have. And uh, we got those on Amazon. While we're in the bathroom, why not? This is my shower stool. <laughs> this thing is a lifesaver. Now I can actually stand in the shower if I need to um, right now. And supposedly you're able to stand in the shower about a week or so after I think your surgery, but I'll let you know. Um, but what's beautiful about this is it slides. Now, yes, this was a bit expensive and I just bought it. I know, uh, again, keep in mind, we don't have kids, so my savings is going to this stuff right now. Um, but what's nice is when you sit, which I'm not sitting down the street, but there's a little handle, you push down and then you slide yourself and it locks. And then you're in the shower, right? <laughs> Doing your thing. And then when you're done, you push the hand, this handle down and you slide yourself this way. So that way, oops, can't do it with hand. That way you're not climbing in and out of a tub with the knee, right? So right now, if I try to get in my tub with my knee, it's just it's not gonna happen. So it's nice to be able to sit and slide in. Um, and then we took the shower head and we put one of these little doodads that holds the shower head here. And of course, Phil wants to have it up there. You can have it up there. So it's all good there. And I also put my little soap dish over here too. And I put all my things I need over down here. So everything's really convenient. I, again, I can stand if I have to today, but it's just nice even when I'm standing in the shower to be able to slide in and out. And then it's really recommended that you take your shower liner and you put a cut in it. So that way a shower liner can go under so that water doesn't come out. So it's pretty easy. Um, but this was a lifesaver during my plantaris tendon rip and it's been helping me ever since. And then of course it'll help me during surgery. So that's the bathroom. And then we have this lovely thing, which I just cleaned off, so I'll explain. This is an ice machine. I did not buy this. Um, many, many years ago, when Phil and I were on a cruise, he tore his ACL. So when he came home from the cruise, we had to get surgery. So he had knee surgery too, not a full replacement, but ACL surgery. And this was a lifesaver. So ice is supposedly your godsend during your recovery. Even now when I do my workout, I put ice on my knee afterwards because it swells quite a bit. So what's nice about this is you put this, I just washed it off so it's a little wet, but you put this around your knee and then you fill the internal part of this with ice and it just circulates through this like tube to keep this constantly cold um, for, a, for a period of time. So that way you're not constantly having to say, oh, I need a new ice bag, I need a new ice bag. You can just have it just keep running and running and running. Uh, for as long as you need. The uh, reason I took it down is I wanted to clean it because Phil hasn't used it for many years and I wanna make sure it works. Sure it does, but uh, you know, test it out and see how it's going. By the way, life's all very important. <laughs> the only reason why is you wanna try again, avoid infection as much as possible during this kind of surgery. Um, oh, it's very dark in here. Um, then I bought a couple more things. Some of these are based on other people's um, videos. I bought these from Amazon. Okay, they look like pants, right? They are pants. Uh, surgery, surgery pants. So what happens is they have buttons all the way up, which is annoying, yes, but they can slip on. They're um, elastic. So if I slip them on, what's nice is if the surgery leg needs to be out for whatever reason with a bandage or whatever, these can be opened up, right? So that way it's just a little more convenient. You can still wear pants and when I leave the hospital, it'll be nice to be you know, able to wear pants and if I need to keep the surgery leg out, 
um, or even just for you know, medical reasons they need to do something, I have my uh, availability to the leg very easily. I bought two pairs of that, one in blue and one in black. I don't know why, just in case I need two pair. Um, then I bought a few pairs of shorts. Actually, these are not short shorts, they're pajama shorts. And the reason why, again, is it's gonna be May or June and July when I'm, well, actually May and June. When I'm recovering, it'll probably be warm. It's warm here now. I don't know about you guys in Illinois, it is humid as hell today. Um, but I figured out I'm gonna wanna keep my leg out when I'm wearing pajamas. Um, so it's more accessible and, and whatever. And nothing's gonna be rubbing against the sutures and all that heavy stuff. So I bought a whole bunch of these. I only got one to show you here, but one I got them from Amazon, real cheap. Um, then this is just simple stuff. When I do my workout, even here at home, I use a rolled up towel for part of my workout to go under my knee. So it's good to have a rolled up towel and I just wash that and roll it back up every time I need it. Uh, I have weights that I put on my ankles right now. They're three pound weights. Um, so that way I'm doing this thing called a dangle with my leg or you're doing lifts with the leg. It gives you a little more strength um, by using weights. I use those. Uh, this is a, well, it's kind of like a yoga strap. This is a, this is actually a yoga strap right here. But this yoga strap actually has little like doodads. So I put this on my foot and I use it to pull and to stretch my leg and do a lot of stretches. Again, if I have time, I'll make a little video about the exercises I'm doing prior to um, surgery. So I'll maybe show you some of those. Um, another ice bag, just to point out, I have a lot of ice bags. A uh, ball. So, you, you know, one of the exercises I do is I put this between my legs and I squeeze the ball to get strength in my thighs and my, my you know, legs. And then, sorry, there's this strappy strap, rubber strap to use for other exercises, you know, um, hamstring curls and things like that. Um, and then this is my favorite thing in the world. I actually have two of these, but it's called a everlasting comfort pillow. So at night, right now, I don't know what's gonna happen after surgery, but I cannot lay on my side knee to knee. If I lay on my side knee to knee, my knee wakes up in agony, like literally burning, screaming pain. Uh, not good at all. I can't sleep on my back because I have a little bit of a back arthritis too. <laughs> Getting old sucks. But putting this between your knees, works beautifully. I just sleep on it, sleep with it at night. I don't get the major pains at night. Highly recommend, it's kind of that memory foam type stuff, um, but it really does do the trick for sleeping at night. I don't know if it'll be necessary for after surgery. I'm thinking maybe. I was also told from somebody else that you have to stay straight after surgery for a while. I don't know. We'll find out, we get the real deal, right? <laughs> I'll let you know. But for now, prior to surgery, this is a beautiful thing. I bought a grabber because I've been told you can't bend too much right away, so if I need to grab something, like here, here's a cat toy. Turtle's messing with cat toys, and I wanna grab it. Whoops, I'm trying to grab it, I'm trying to film at the same time. Right, blow it for turtle. There you go, turtle. <laughs> Looks nice if you do drop something and your husband's not around, grab something. Um, and then last but not least, this is gonna sound weird, but it's true, I bought this, hold on, sock. Sock putter honor. Sock putter honor, is that a word? Uh, basically what you do, it's really kind of cool. I tried it. You know, when your leg's gonna be all messed up, you know, and painful, and you can't straighten it the way you're used to straightening it, and you wanna put a pair of socks on. Uh, this is definitely like, I jokingly can't, can't, can't only call it like old lady stuff, but what are you gonna do? You put your sock basically around here, so it comes up like, you know, I'm just gonna pretend, up like that. Then you take your two handles, you put your little footy in there, and then you pull up and your sock is on. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so this will be something to use even when I get older, potentially, you know, when you can't bend too much. Um, but obviously when I heal, I should be able to put my own socks on. But for the first couple of weeks, this thing is gonna be, I think, a lifesaver. So we'll see. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now with supply. Um, I think for anything else, I'll let you know, but uh, I think I'm ready to go <clears throat> when it comes to having everything I need to uh, do what I gotta do. And uh, we'll see. So I will post another video when I have a chance. I'll, I'll try to post a video about the exercises I'm doing before surgery. I'll post a video about my braces coming off, hopefully. Uh, and then maybe some of the pre-surgical appointments. I'll let you know how that's going too, because I have to go to, you know, get surgically clearanced. And I'm sure there'll be a COVID test or something. So we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, I'm showing you a picture of a toilet seat. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good rest of your day.